Hey YouTube, it's Thayer, and yes, I am coming to you from my bathroom. Um, I was trying to figure out lighting, but whatever. This is the prime spot right now to do some updates. Whew, an update, finally. <laughs> Thank you for all of you who wish us all the well wishes with the wedding. A lot has gone on since the last time I spoke to you. My environment's totally different. My job is totally different. A lot of things to update you on, and of course I do have my sticky notes, so I'm just going to go straight through a few of the things I have here. If I miss anything, I'll probably do another bit to answer some questions, so if you have any questions or if you notice I left out something, just leave it on this video and I'll make another video addressing those things. But anywho, I got married on June 18th, 2011 in Myrtle Beach, and there was so much drama leading up to the wedding, and it wasn't anything I had control over. The thing is I was saying to myself, you know, I don't want bridesmaids, I don't want any type of wedding party because I don't want drama. I just think it would be simple for us to do something small and quaint. Anything that could have gone wrong went wrong and then some. So around the time of the wedding there were fires in Arizona. You probably saw them all over the news. So Greg being in the military and everything, I mean it's one of their responsibilities is to, to fight fires if, if that's the case. So the day he was flying in for the wedding, flying into Myrtle Beach, he got called like 30 minutes before it was time for him to get on the plane. And they were like, oh, your leave has been revoked. You have to come back to Arizona. Mind you, he was 30 minutes away from getting on his flight. So that was stress and drama in itself. That same day earlier, I got a call from, well, actually, I didn't get a call from them. I had to call the people at the um, probate court where I got my wedding license or marriage license because I had mailed it to them certified but some dummy in the office never went to go pick it up so I was under the impression that for the whole time my wedding license was in order everything was signed everything was notarized so they're like oh you have to have your information in at least 24 hours before we can process it mind you I called them with 24 hours and it was after hours they couldn't go get it from the mailbox so I was crying I was oh, I'm never gonna get married it's never gonna be legal so that was a whole lot of drama. The day Greg flew in, which was Friday the 17th, we had to get him straight from the airport, run all the way to some town in South Carolina, I think it was Marion, get our marriage license that same day, pay a fee, have the lady bring it to Myrtle Beach, or actually I think it was Conway, bring it there the morning of the wedding, so I got my wedding license right in time. Otherwise, we would have had to get married, it would have been legal, and then come back and get married at the courthouse on Monday. <laughs> no. no, no <laughs> wait, nothing against courthouse wedding? That's just not what I wanted. And there was another snap through. I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday before my wedding. They were saying, oh, we forgot to tell you, you can't have anything on the beach because it's a private, it's a, not a private beach, what's the opposite of private? Public. <laughs> All the beaches in, Myr in Myrtle Beach or near that area are public beaches, so you can't set up chairs and all that. Mind you, I spent like two or three hundred bucks on chairs, like these white resin chairs were going to be all pretty. They were like, oh, you pretty much wasted money because you can't have them out there. So I had to get reimbursed for all this stuff. I had to try to find another arch because the people who needed to set up my arch needed more time than they were giving me. Because the people who married us, and mind you, I have a gripe with them because I still don't have my pictures. And I've been married almost three months. Hmm. Anywho, they pretty much scheduled another wedding right before mine and it wouldn't give the people that were setting up my arch enough time to set it up. So all that drama led to the day and everything turned out beautifully. I wouldn't have changed anything. I think it went really well and I had a lovely time. You've probably seen the Emin Brown's video. I think that's still on my page and you've probably seen, well I know you've seen Edie Hill or my, my twin sister Emil's video of the wedding. I didn't take any video, didn't really take any pictures. I'm wanting to get the pictures back from the photographer to share them with you all. But I'm still waiting for those, and I have called a whole lot. So just know that when I get them, you'll get them. Hopefully. I'll update. Anyway, I feel like I've talked a lot with that. Anywho, so we weren't able to take our honeymoon right after the wedding because Greg didn't have enough leave. We were supposed to take it in July, but something else came up. So we're hoping maybe Thanksgiving we can do something. If not, maybe it'll be spring break, or we'll just do something for our one-year anniversary. I don't know. But I'm not standing on my head to take a honeymoon. Of course I want to. We had our moving moon video, and I know you've probably seen those. We left North Carolina on June 20th, and we got here to Arizona June 25th. I think it was that Friday, like earlier in the morning. 
the truck broke down on the way, so we had to, I think it, was, it wasn't Midland, Texas, it was, was it even in Texas? I don't remember, it was somewhere where the truck broke down, we had a budget moving truck, it broke down, so we had to, in the rain, transfer all of my stuff from one truck to another truck, and that was hell in itself, so it put us back like a day or so, but we made it safely, made it sound, we were here, and we're good to go. Blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, I've had a few changes here. When I got here, I had to buy a car. So I bought a car in July. I think it was July 16th. I bought a car, so it's made things easier for me. Before then, it was just me hanging out the house with Leia. That's our, our dog. Me hanging out the house, cooking, waiting for Greg to get here because I wasn't working yet. Of course, I had a job already lined up before I got here, so I wasn't stressed about that. So my summer was perfect. It was probably too perfect because I was not ready to go back to work. But I started work on... Well, actually, of course, I had to start before August 8th. That's the first day the kids came was August 8th. I started, of course, weeks before setting up my classroom. But I am teaching fifth grade again this year. Of course, the curriculum is a little bit different, and all schools are different. But I am teaching fifth grade, so it's not a huge change. It's not as bad as it could be. But I have 32 students. I'll say that again. 32 <laughs> students, one of me. I have no assistant like I had last year. So, I mean, it, it's a challenge, but, I mean, I'm up for it, and... I mean, so far, so good. I'm not going to complain. There's no point of that. But, I mean, it can be a challenge, but it's, it's a welcome one for sure. What else? I'm trying to say I have a lot of stuff. That's my sticky. I don't know if you can tell it. But, oh, a lot. I've seen a lot of comments on Emerald's videos, and some people have been asking me when I'm going home for the next time. I'm not going to be able to make it for Emerald's baby sprinkle, which is in a couple weeks. I think two Saturdays from now. Watch her videos to find out. And I hope to make it home for Carson's birth. Right now, I'm not really sure. And to be honest, it probably is leaning more towards not going. My fall break is October 10th through 14th. And of course, it would be great if Emerald went early and I could catch it. But even then, it's a lot of money to fly out. And I am taking a pay cut coming here. And Greg and I are trying to save. And I have to make sure I can get off work because it's honestly more work to make sub plans or for like a guest teacher coming in than for me to actually be there. So right now I'm going to say it's leaning towards no, something could happen before then. If so, I need to go ahead and buy a ticket. But I probably will end up seeing Carson on Christmas, which is like, oh, good Lord, it's so long. And that will be six months since I've seen Kane too, so that's crazy. I've never gone that long without seeing him. I think the longest I've probably gone is maybe six days without seeing Kane before I moved out here. So yeah, it's really different, but I mean, it's worth it. It's great being married. It's like a double-edged sword. When I wasn't with Greg, when he was here, I wanted to be here. And now that I'm here, I wouldn't mind being back home. It's like you can't always get what you want. And you know what? That's how life goes sometimes. So I'm trying to think if there are any more updates. I had a lot of questions about my hair for the wedding. That hair you saw was not my real hair. <laughs> I did some um, what are called spring twists. For my hair actually for the wedding I had a girl do them for me and to be honest I mean they were nice but I did these myself and it's the same type of hair the spring twist hair except I cut it a lot shorter I did these I think it's two weeks ago two weeks ago yesterday and it really is just springy hair it's not all mine my hair isn't much shorter than this but it's a lot finer than this so what this does is really add a lot of volume to my hair and it was good for the wedding because I had a pinup style um, so that's the hair. I may start doing some hair tutorials. I know I always say that and I never get to them. But I may end up doing some hair tutorials. I'm not sure. But this is just what that hair is. It's called Spring Twist Hair. Look it up. Whatever. The color I have in is a 1B. But I don't think it really matches all that well because my hair has gotten lighter from the sun. But yeah, that, that's the hair. And I'll probably take it out like next week or the week after that. I've, this is probably the longest I've left extensions in my hair, so <clears throat> two weeks is, is good for me. I was just needing a get up and go style, and this is what that affords. I'm trying to think of something else. Um, it's like I have all this stuff to tell you, but then I get on camera and it's like, oh shoot, maybe not. Um, I could show you Leia in a minute. She's down here. She's off my shadow, so I could show you Leia, but Greg has staff duty tonight, so he's been sneaking back home to to hang out. He hasn't even had dinner yet and it's 7.39 here. I don't know if I said it but it's September 11th, 2011. Um, 
I don't know if there's anything else I'm missing. You know, I'm just going to pause here just a second and think. You know what, if I forget anything, I'll put it in maybe some annotations or something in the description box or bar, whatever. But if you have any questions or comments or anything, just let me know. I'm glad I was finally able to update. I should be doing lesson plans right now, but whatever. I mean, I'm just tired and I haven't been sleeping well at night because I've had so much to do. And I said, you know what, when that kind of stuff happens, I know I just need to take a break, kind of forget about school. I mean, it's easier said than done, but... I just need a break right now. It's crazy. I feel like I already need my fall break or my winter break, and I've only been working like five or five weeks, four weeks. Pray for me. But anywho, that's that. I'll probably show you Leia. Yeah, I'll show you Leia. Why not? Hello, Leia. Say hi. Hello. Yes, yeah, she's probably a lot bigger than you saw in the um the first video when I came to Arizona I think it was in April of, yeah I know it was in April this year so she's I think eight months or so eight months going on nine months that's land oh shoot I don't know if this thing